everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great today so i guess um this is another cooking video so we are going to have a cooking video today all right and i am feeling a little bit weird because i have clogged nose i don't know it's i think it's from the allergy i bought plants and i didn't know that that plants will cause a lot of pollens or release a lot of pollens i think that is the palm tree and i don't have any idea that palm trees have male and female so they said that male release a lot of pollens which I think I have it here inside the house and the other one the female one is safe so we decided to take that out and uh, we'll return that um, at Lowe's I think at Lowe's or Home Depot I don't know and uh, yeah we are feeling better right now it's just the clogged nose my swollen nostrils and I feel a little bit better way better all right so today is going to be a fajita day I am going to cook beef fajita and I'm going to show you guys the easy way to do it using our ninja air fryer slash indoor grill so this is really a game changer for us mom you know you don't have to turn on especially dad you don't have to turn on your um, um, barbecue pit it just takes long time you know two hours probably I don't know like my husband do it all the time like turning on the barbecue pit it takes a little while to do it just because he have to clean the you know the barbecue pit turning on the fire wait for it to really like ready to use but today i will show you how to do the beef fajita using our ninja indoor grill how many minutes this thing is going to be and take note it's minutes it's not hour and uh, all the ingredients that i'm going to use it's not a lot it's just one two three four five six just six all in all including the meat all right so let's begin. All right, so for the fajita beef, I am going to use this Blaze Tenderized. This is already tenderized beef um, fajita. And this is one point the one pound or one pound uh, beef fajita. All right, and then for our vegetable, easy. <laughs> I always go to frozen vegetable, which of course it's safe and organic. So we are going to use a beef fajita blend. And for the seasoning, I always use this uh, Texas beef fajita seasoning. This is really tasty, guys. It's really good than other uh, fajita that I used before. And also, this is my secret thing. <laughs> I always add this cayenne pepper. This will give kick in your fajita. I promise. All right. And for the side, of course, I already mentioned the beef the blend, uh, fajita blend. And I have here a little this pico de gallo this is the medium um spice i guess strength how spicy you want it <laughs> and uh, i didn't know that it's super small i ordered this last night and they delivered it today using shift you know guys shift is really good when it comes to as mom like me that doesn't want to go to stores i just order it online and they deliver it with care and love <laughs> yeah they're really good in communication like they will text you and uh, tell you hey this product is not available what do you want me to do do you want to substitute it and you have to make sure that especially with fruits uh, tell them that hey i want a green banana or i want a little like fresh Food, something like that, and it will do it for you. Going back to this uh, pico de gallo, like I, this is my fault that I did not uh, check the size. I mean, yeah, the sizes, the ounces, whatever. Oh, it is a thing. Really small for us. <laughs> but anyways, this should be the size. And the last one is our tortilla. I um, use flour tortilla, then corn tortilla. It's just. I know it's unhealthy, but I mean, it's more tastier, I guess. All right, so let's begin this fajita day. All right, guys, so we are going to start by seasoning our fajita. The way I do it is I just kind of pour this out. I am very generous putting this seasoning because this is going to be like the secret here to make your fajita tasty. So I'm going to add our cayenne pepper just like that and then you have to really massage this thing make sure that it is really spread out evenly and repeat the process on the other side mm -hmm. 
and if you think you need to add more seasoning go ahead don't be afraid it's not overwhelming but enough for you to say that oh this is fajita this is beef fajita you know and after that i'm going to just let it set in for a few minutes and then we are ready to grill it all right guys so now this is the time to preheat our ninja air fryer slash indoor grill this time we are going to use grill in medium Heat. So let me show you guys how I do it. Okay, so we have here grill, air fryer, um, roast, bake, dehydrate. So we are going to use this one. All right. You just have to press this grill. I am going to use the medium one because it's the fajita. It is easy to cook. I mean, it, it is already tenderized. You don't have to worry about it is not going to cook well. I always like a well done fajita. So, all right, so let's, that is 450 Fahrenheit. If you go to like high or max, that's 500 or 510. It is, I think it is too much. You're gonna burn the fajita. So let's go to medium and then let's just preheat that. And that's it. For the timer, we are going to start with the eight minutes because this is the one that I tested. Eight minutes, back and forth, like four minutes, and then you flip it again, and another four minutes. So that's it, it's automatic. When you set it for eight minutes, it's automatic, it's gonna go. All right, so let's just wait for that. By the way, guys, I have to show you um, what I used for grilling, hold on. So I replaced my basket for air fryer because you have this air fry basket here. You have to use this one. This is going to help your fajita too because this is really for grilling, all right? The other one, the basket is for air. Fry. All right, everyone, so now we are ready to put our food and uh, let's just open this like that. Okay, and then let's put our fajita just like this. Then the one is like that. Okay, so that is going to be four minutes. So we have here eight minutes, and after four minutes, we have to flip that. Okay. All right, everyone. So it's time to flip this. Uh, look at that. Told you. So, look at that. All right, let's close that in. It's another three um, and a half. All right, guys, so this is our fajita here. Look at that, it's only eight minutes and you got this precious gem here. All right, so let's cut this now. All right, so let's cut this one here first. Oh my goodness, look at that. So look at how our fajita is. See that, like it is super tender, it's well done. And uh, only for eight minutes, guys. It's super juicy, look at that. For eight minutes, man, that is game changer for beef fajita. All right. Okay guys, so now we are done with our meat, the beef fajita, and then now we are moving on to the vegetable or the side dish, all right? So we are going to use this, like what I said, the fajita vegetable blend, and I'm only going to use half of it, all right? But the thing is, I am also going to use the Texas uh, seasoning fajita, or the Texas beef fajita seasoning, all right? All right, so we are going to use half of the vegetable blend for our fajita. And using this Texas beef fajita seasoning, just give a little taste for this vegetable and then just mix it all together. And then we are ready to use our Ninja Air Fryer Indoor Grill again. So it is going to be the same thing. We are going to use a grill, but the only difference is I am going to use high heat. All right, and then let's preheat that. All right guys, so now it's ready. I have to put that in there. And kind of just to spread it like that. Okay. As if you're sizzling. And then you kind of just spread it. And you'll see later. Like 
Alright, and then just close it for a while. And this is not going to be a lot of minutes. It's only one minute and that's it. Alright, it's done and it's going to be like that. So, we're going to get this out from here. A little burn there, but it's fine. How it's supposed to be. Alright. If you want it to be like more um, burn type of veggie, now you can add like another minute, but I like it like Alright guys, so now we are done with our beef fajita and um, look at this, this is so yummy and I am so proud of it like this is only for 8 minutes cooking guys like 2 minutes preparation and 8 minutes and that's it you have beef fajita you don't have to order it or you don't have to go to any restaurant it's homemade and I know my husband's gonna be so happy to try this and look at my little girl alright everyone She's already hungry and I know she loves fajita. And that's it everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I help, you know, mom out there that is really wanted to try different things, uh, make things easier. And uh, of course, our Ninja Air Fryer is the best decision ever. All right guys, so I hope to see you guys next week or in my next video. And please stay safe and God bless you all. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>